These are the five finalists still in the running for the title of Miss America for 1966. I never felt like, you know, that, oh, I was destined <laughs> to become Miss America. Miss Kansas. As a young girl growing up in Overland Park, Debbie Bryant never imagined being center stage in front of a national audience. It wasn't until she started modeling in high school that people began to see that she had something special. At that time, someone, you know, suggested that, hey, you should really enter the Miss America competition someday. And so that planted the seed in my mind. That seed would really start to grow while she was finishing a two-year college program in Columbia, Missouri. I knew that I would be needing to earn future scholarships and in order to continue my education. That's when Bryant began her journey to the crown and with it, enough scholarship money to complete college. I remember entering the Miss Kansas City pageant and winning that. And so that was a huge milestone. That big win qualified her for the Miss Kansas pageant, which was even more competitive. But when it was down to the final two contestants, Bryant took the coveted crown. That was pretty much as much as you would ever hope for. <laughs> it was, was to be crowned Miss Kansas. That big win brought the 19-year-old Miss Kansas to Atlantic City for the Miss America pageant. This is the night when one dream is realized and 49 others are shattered. You couldn't just be smart, or you couldn't just be talented, you know, but you had to be able to present yourself and have personality. What is one of life, tender drama? What was your talent that you competed with? I did a skit that I had written. I portrayed all the different characters that were typical of a melodrama, the hero, the heroine, and the villain. Bryant's unique performance won over the crowd, and more importantly, the judges. She made it to the final five, then the final two. The first runner-up, Patricia Puckett, Miss Mississippi, Miss America, Miss Kansas! You're in this kind of stunned state, if you will, um, kind of outside of yourself. There has never been a Miss America from Kansas, so I hope everybody in Kansas is really celebrating. What an honor and what an opportunity. It was special, you know, it was really a, a special moment for me, of course, and for Kansas at the time. Bryant went on to finish her college education at the University of Kansas. She went on to be a public speaker and philanthropist. Now known as Debbie Bryant Burge, she currently lives in Arizona with her husband, Brent. They have been married almost 50 years. When anyone asks you, well, where are you from? Overland Park. <laughs> so it's, it's a point of pride. City staff recently unearthed this street sign dedicated to Kansas's first Miss America. The city decided this piece of history belonged with Bryant. It was pretty exciting to see it and to bring back the memories of that special year. Debbie Bryant's legacy extends beyond her title as Miss America. Her story is one of perseverance, talent, and deep connection to Kansas and her hometown of Overland Park. Overland Park will always be, you know, home. I couldn't think of any better place to come from.